Alrighty, everyone. So welcome. My name is Sarah again. Um, I would love to know where you all are joining us from. So which organizations you're representing today. So if you could let us know in the chat, you can just say hello and what organization you're with. Um, we can say hello to you all. Awesome, they're all coming in. Cool, we have Jenny with Literacy Volunteers. Awesome, welcome everyone. Um, so just a few housekeeping notes before we get started. I do want to let you all know that this webinar will be recorded. Um, it'll be recorded and then I'm gonna upload it to the toolkit on the Give Local NRV site under the resources tab in the uh, toolkit. So if you have any questions during the presentation, um, feel free to type them into the Q&A little chat bubble at the bottom of your screen um, and we will try to get to them. Um, Jess is with us as well and she's going to help kind of facilitate those uh, and then we'll of course get to them at the end of the webinar as well. Alrighty, so again I'm Sarah, I'm with Mighty Cause and I'm a project manager for Give Local NRV. Uh, we are also joined today by Jessica from the Community Foundation of the New River Valley, and she has been working super hard with Laura behind the scenes, making sure everything is getting ready for you all this year. Um, so I'm going to pass the mic over to Jess so she can say a few words. Yeah, um, thanks, Sarah, and hi, everyone. Thank you so much for taking part um, in Give Local NRV Broadly, and then, of course, in today's webinar. Um, so as Sarah said, um, Laura and I from the foundation are kind of the community foundation side. Um, many of you who may have participated with the foundation in past years um, know that Ashley Agee on our team was overseeing Give Local NRV and she has gone on to another opportunity, but we are in the process of recruiting a new staff person who will be supporting all of you at Give Local. So keep an eye out for that. Um, in the meantime, Laura and I and Sarah um, have everything you need to make sure that all the nonprofits are ready for this giving day. Um, and for those who may be new to Give Local NRV, um, this is our uh, ninth annual giving day, um, meant to be an opportunity for folks across the community to support all of the great work that you do here in the New River Valley um, with the Community Foundation uh, here to cheer you on, to provide the platform, and then also to offer some grants and prizes, hopefully, to incentivize participation. Um, so the webinar today will really be a good overview of the platform itself and how to create your profile. And then Sarah will talk about a second webinar um, that goes into a bit more on strategy. And at that time, we'll announce all of the grant opportunities that we're going to offer as part of the Giving Day as well. Um, so hopefully, this will be a, a good reminder for some of you and an introduction for others. And we will go from there. And I'll turn it back to you, Sarah. Awesome, thank you. Um, well, we're super excited to partner with you all again this year for Give Local NRV. Um, we're really looking forward to, of course, providing you all the technical support you need as you get ready for the big day. Um, so if any of our participants have questions as you're getting ready, or if you find that one of your donors has a question, um, you can always, you're always welcome to reach out to our support team. They're there to help you out. Um, you can always email at support at mightycause.com. So just real quick, a little bit about Mighty Cause. Um, we are a fully, fully functional organization fundraising suite, which organizations can use all year long to raise money for causes. Um, we've been around since 2006 and we're one of the first platforms to host Giving Days. So we've been doing this for quite a while and we're just really looking forward to hosting Give Local NRV this year. So a real quick look at today's agenda. We're going to go over some of the basics for the event. Um, then we're going to walk through how to register briefly and customize your organization page on the platform. Um, a little bit different this year, if you've come to these trainings, I'm going to be providing a walkthrough showing you how to edit your pages and where to find a few different things on the back end. Um, and then we're going to finish with a Q&A session. So if you have any questions while I'm presenting, you can just type them into the Q&A uh, panel on your Zoom dashboard. Um, so first, I'm going to actually pass it back to you, Jess, so that you can kind of cover some of the Give Local NRV basics. Yeah, so um, folks may be familiar with some of this already, but um, Give Local NRV is 
um, our giving platform. And as Sarah said, um, this website is up and available to you year round to um, raise money for your organizations. Of course, we put a lot of energy into the annual giving day which is where we really want to raise the profile of the organizations that are participating and certainly get some money in your hands. Um, so this year, the giving day is on Wednesday, June 22nd, and it's a full 24 hour giving day. So at that time, when you go to the Give Local NRV page, you'll see activity throughout the day um, for individual organizations, uh, a donor wall where folks will be contributing, and most importantly for that day, our leaderboards where you'll get to see how organizations are performing related to the different grants. Um, we make this available to any nonprofit um, serving the New River Valley, as well as units of government. So libraries or schools um, can participate if they so choose. And part of the registration process you went through if you're brand new to Give Local was just to confirm that you fit those requirements. Um, we do ask you to register every year for this, which is a little bit different than um, when we had a different partner other than Mighty Cause. But the reason we ask you to register every year is because we collect information, um, not just contact information, which is helpful for us, but also information about your organization that we use as we're crafting um, the grants that we give out and building out all the leaderboards. So it's really important that you register every year and keep an eye out for that registration information. Um, and then finally, one of the things that we really love about the Mighty Cause platform is the opportunity for early giving. So while June 22nd is the giving day itself, any gift that's made between June 1st and the end of the day on June 22nd will count towards your total as an organization, um, your fundraising total, and it'll also count toward those grants and prizes. So this is a great opportunity if folks are gonna be you know, on vacation traveling or maybe just not paying attention on the day of, um, we really encourage you to use the early giving capability um, you won't be able to see until the giving day how you're performing um, uh, in regards to other organizations, but you will be able through your platform to see how well you're doing and those contributions coming in. Um, and the early giving has really been a huge boon for a lot of our organizations. So we, we suggest making the most of that. And then as I shared earlier, um, we're still working through prizes and grants, which are all made possible with different sponsors. Um, that, that uh, help support our giving day. So you will hear about those at the April webinar, and then we'll also send that out in email communications from the foundation. All right, Sarah, back to you. Excellent. Um, okay, so if you're new to the giving day space, um, I'll just briefly go over what it is. A giving day, it's an online fundraising marathon, and it aims to really bring people together to support a specific community, a cause, or a space. Um, so the Giving Day hosts uh, organize the event and they rally organizations to raise funds for their causes. Organizations participating in a Giving Day can utilize the resources and the tools that are provided um, under our toolkit uh, to reach out to your supporters to solicit donations and secure fundraisers and just really the goal is to just grow those networks um, and get some donations. Uh, okay, so how do Giving Days work? Just as we noted, a Giving Day, it's a unique campaign presented by a host organization, um, and it provides participants the opportunity to really capitalize on the urgency of having a limited time frame. So in this case, you know, 24 hours to raise the most money you can for your cause. Um, giving Days are a super exciting way to engage your sponsors, get community partners involved, um, work on securing some peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, to really help spread the word about your organization and your mission uh, and raise funds for your cause. So yeah, the limited time frame it really is creating a good sense of urgency for donors and donors typically tend to respond to this urgency to help you out. Uh, and with the various prizes that are offered throughout the day, it gives you a lot of fresh messaging opportunities that you can share to kind of keep the momentum up with your donors. Um, okay, so to participate and give local NRV, of course, the first thing you'll want to do is register your organization no later than May 25th if you haven't already done so. 
Um, once you're registered, you can then start customizing your profile on the Give Local NRV site, and you can start really planning your campaign. Um, so just a note, by June 1st, your organization profile is going to want to include, you know, your logo, your background image, um, your description, uh, thank you page, and then if you can, you're going to want to set up electronic funds transfer so you can receive two-time monthly distributions from Mighty Cause. Um, once your page is all set up and you've completed the, this, uh, you're going to want to start to invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. Um, once early giving has started on June 1st, you can really start promoting your campaign, encouraging donations, getting people in early if they can't make the day of. But of course, you'll definitely want to really push the big donation asks on the actual giving day on June 22nd. Um, and that way you can also really win some prizes on the day of as well. So I'm going to go over this pretty quickly because I think uh, most of our attendees have already registered. But if you're watching this at a later date, um, you're going to want to register and you can just quickly and easily do that by going to the Give Local NRV site and clicking register. Um, you can search for your organization on this page or you can create an account if you're brand new to Mighty Cause. Uh, once you take that step, a quick little form appears, you can fill it out, you click submit to complete it, and then once you're approved, you have the ability to add more administrators. So if multiple people are managing your campaign, you can go in and you can add each one of them. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you can email our support team. Okay, so I am going to start to switch over to um, give you kind of an overview of how to edit and navigate your organization page. Uh, so bear with me while I transition. <laughs> okay, can you all see this beautiful website, Give Local NRV? We can see it. Perfect. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to come first. Um, okay, so basically, once you've filled out and submitted your registration, uh, your registration form, you'll come to this Give Local NRV site again, and you're going to click on this little user icon in the top right corner. Um, this is where you're going to be able to access your account. So you can click it. It's going to have you log in if you haven't done so already. Um, I'm not going to log in because I'm about to switch over to another tab to show you, but basically you can use Google, you can use Facebook, or you can log in with your email address. Okay, make sure you can see. So now we've transitioned over to, we'll pretend that this is um, an organization of yours. So can you all see this tab? Sometimes uh, Zoom webinars doesn't switch over. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so once you click the name of your organization, it's going to bring you to your page. When you log in, you'll automatically land on this overview section right here. Um, this is the left side. It's your dashboard. Uh, when you first log in, it's going to pop up with this little guided tutorial. You can follow it if you've never been on the site or just exit out. Um, so this is your dashboard over here. We have a nice little to-do list, which outlines some great next steps for you all to start taking to really customize your organization account on the site. So this is what we were talking about earlier, some things for you to do. You can open up the detailed list. This overview page is also where you can find your metrics, um, which is going to really start to come in handy once the giving day has started. And you can kind of start to see where you're at. These metrics are great. So you can also um, update your donors and supporters on social media. You can tell them how many unique donors you have, how many donations you've had so far. So these are really, it's a really great tool to come back to um, to keep the momentum up on the day. Um, let's see. Okay, so metrics, and then under the organization page, we'll go back to the left. Um, you can customize, oops, there's another little tutorial walkthrough. We try to Keep it super clear for you all on how to navigate this area. Um, but under the organization page on your dashboard, so you can customize your organization page. You can toggle on and off this edit mode. So you'll see that these little icons that show you what's edited, editable pop up. Um, if you want to display it uh, and really see what someone would see, this is exactly what someone is going to see when they come to your page. 
um, but it's all on page editing. You can edit page metrics, like adding a goal for your giving day. This is all editable. Um, you can edit your goal. You can change the amount. You can decide to show just amount raised, only number of donors. You can show both um, and all of that good stuff. Um, so this is really going to be the hub of your activity for the event. So we'd recommend really taking some time to get to know your organization dashboard um, on the left hand side of your page. Uh, and just so you all know, this org page link up at the top is the link that you're going to share with supporters to direct them to donate um, to kind of really head to your Give Local NRV page. So to share your organization page, you're literally just going to copy and paste this URL. Um, and you can stick it into emails, social posts, uh, really wherever you're trying to advertise your campaign. Um, you'll know you're in the right spot because it will say givelocalnrv.org up at the top. Um, okay, so I'm going to walk through a couple editing capabilities in a little bit more detail. So since this is the face of your organization for the day, you really want to make sure it looks good and represents you all well. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is edit and upload your logo. So you're going to use the little icon to open up this section for editing. Um, logos all have to be a one to one aspect ratio. Um, and this is pretty typical of all social media sites. So if you have a logo on Facebook or Twitter, you can use the same logo here. Um, the biggest thing we like to tell organizations is to make sure your logo doesn't clash with your background image. Um, so you're going to want to make sure pretty much it's text free, your background image is text free, um, a strong image that represents your organization. Of course, landscape oriented images work the best. Um, and if you're interested in the ratio, if you have a design team, it's a three to one aspect ratio. But if you're, you know, pressed, you have, you don't have the time to get photos, we also offer um, a gallery of images. So these have all been kind of pre-selected. There's just a few to choose from. Uh, but these are pretty powerful, really visually interesting images. So you can always use one of those instead. Um, let's see, we're going right along. So you're going to want to customize your page to match your brand. And this means you can also change your theme color to match your logo. So you can choose your theme color if you have, you know, a hex code, if you have a, a sp very specific color that you need to use, you can enter that here. Um, Let's see. So next is the story description. All of this is in page editing. Um, it's it's honestly it's the centerpiece of your entire page. So every page comes with this about tab. Um, and this is where you can put your mission statement. You can add photos. You can add videos. Uh, just a note, if you do want to add a video, you're going to have to upload it first to YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, then you can embed it into your story and people can watch it. Uh, but this is really the spot where you're going to go in depth about your work, make a really strong appeal to donors, tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your work, where their dollars are going, what you're able to do with it. Um, we're going to scroll down. And like I said, this is all inline editing, so you can um, edit right in here and then just don't forget to click save. Uh, okay, so as we go down, you can show there's featured campaigns, um, campaigns that support this organization. Uh, this is where, you know, peer to peer fundraising uh, would show up if someone's fundraising on behalf of your organization. Um, then we also have galleries, so you can upload media to a gallery to add some visual interest to your page. Um, and we'll come back to this in a second. Uh, all right. So like I said, the text editing is all inline. So you literally are just going to type in there whatever you need. There's different formatting capabilities up here. You can bold, you can add numbers, you can center justify. Um, there's a lot that you can do in here to really customize. Uh, you can also connect Instagram. You can connect your Facebook. Um, so if you have either of those and you want people to uh, click on these images. It's all it pulls directly and then it also lets them know that you, you are active on social so they can find more information on your socials as well. Um, all right, so we're going to go to the dashboard over here and we'll go to settings. Um, a ton of different settings here. We'll try to touch on as much as we can. But under general settings is where you can optimize your social share settings. Um, so basically what that means is you can standardize the social template whenever someone shares your campaign. 
so that's here. Um, that means you can make a standard, you can put your standard logo you want people to share, you can make the card title, you can add the description, you can add your Twitter account, you can add uh, any social hashtags for yourself that you want to be added to each post that someone creates. Um, so be sure to just take some time customizing this organization page, um, really put in some work because I think for the most part, you know, the more time you put into it, the more polished it's going to look and the more success you're going to have on the giving day. Okay, so we're going to go back over to the dashboard um, and we're going to go to the checkout and we're going to go to the donation form. So moving into the checkout, this uh, is what you're going to want to customize next. Like I said, it's under the checkout section. Um, the first part is your checkout steps. So this is probably one of the most important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization page. Uh, the donation form section gives you a ton of control over the donation process for your organization. You can set up uh, different custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help tie those amounts to items or services that your organization provides. So you can see examples here, um, like for example, I mean, either one of these that you're looking at, but these really help strengthen the appeal to your donor to your donors. Uh, people love to see what their money is able to provide you um, and it kind of can give them like a mindset, like maybe someone only wanted to donate $40, but they love the idea of transporting rescue dogs. So that might actually be a push for them to donate a little bit more. Um, within this donation form, you can also opt into collecting any additional info you might need. So MediCause automatically collects email and uh, email address info for you, but if you wanted to collect phone numbers um, or ask anything like specific, like are you interested in volunteering, you can also add another section to your donation form. Um, but just a note, you can only add one additional question. Um, so of course, at the top of the donate form, you can toggle your edit mode to preview uh, and make edits. So it's pretty much the same. We try to keep it all pretty standard with how you edit things on the site. Uh, I'm going to transition over to check out thank you page now. So this thank you page section within checkout is where you'll go to set up the thank you page, which will use the exact same, like I said, text editor. Um, you can add text, links, a video, images. You can also add a custom call to action button that tells the donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, for instance, one idea that a lot of people like is to ask people to sign up for the email list or direct them to, you know, volunteer dates that you have um, on your website, something like that. We'll keep going down to the donation receipt. Uh, you can customize this donation receipt as well. The customization set appears above the tax deduction, the tax deductible donation receipt that gets sent out automatically after a donor completes their donation on uh, your site. So this is all customizable right here and you can preview what it's going to look like um, as well. So we're going to head to the report section in the dashboard here. Um, you can access reports on donations and disbursements in this section. So you can click on uh, this section and it gives you a sub menu where you can choose all donations um, or recurring donations and stuff like that. Uh, so you can also find disbursements reports here, but your donation report is available to you in real time and includes info like the donation name, the email, donation amount. Um, you can also tell what page they donated to, which is nice. So if they donated on a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaign, you'll be able to see that as well. Um, you can also click to download the report, and the download a report includes much more information like all the designations, dedications, the gross uh, amounts, the net amount of donations, um, and then just any additional information you wanted to collect during the checkout flow, like the phone number. Um, but just note that the report automatically displays donations from the past 30 days right here. So if you're looking for a year to date, you're going to have to um, select that from this menu. Uh, so this is a demo account, so we don't have any disbursements to show, but the disbursements section of your report allows you to see batch disbursement history. So under reports, you can check out disbursements. Um, and that opens up and gives you all sorts of information like uh, I mean, literally everything you can want for disbursements. Um, all donations on the site are processed by Mighty Cause, which is a donor advice fund. 
Um, and your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer, which is recommended uh, since it allows you to get disbursements twice a month as opposed to once. But we do also offer um, check disbursement uh, if, if that's something that you need. Hey, Sarah, um, can, I, Sarah can I jump in for a second? Um, just um, I, because some folks who are new may not necessarily know all the terminology here, even though it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, you'll see that there's talk about online donations, which of course are contributions that come in through your um, giving page, either via credit card or through a debit card. Um, you may cover this, Sarah, but we also accept for the giving day offline donations, which are gifts of cash or check. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll have the opportunity to enter those manually into their in um, to the site, um, and those get approved so that they can show on their leaderboard. And then, um, uh, unlike um, past years before Mighty Cause, with Mighty Cause, the contributions um, go to what Sarah said is is Mighty Cause, which is a donor advised fund, and then twice a month they disperse that money to the checking account that you set up with them when you register. Um, or if you prefer it not go directly through that electronic transfer, they can do it monthly by a check. So um, that's just something to, to keep in mind um, that you know, the money won't show up in your bank account the day of or the next day, it'll meet that disbursement. Um, and all of that, as Sarah said, are things that you can see in this report side so you can see disbursements that come um, offline and online donations all of the above is all easy to access in the report section yeah. sorry so i just wanted to jump in there. no that's good i uh i don't think i was going to show the offline donation flow so that's good um so under reports you can add offline donations so this is where you'll go and you'll just click add offline donation um, and those will all pop up in your uh all donations and reports um okay so i'm gonna hold on yeah there, sorry i'm gonna offline donations are things that a lot of our organizations use and always have questions about um so just um so you all know once you enter that offline donation as sarah showed you um it'll get approved and that and once it's approved it'll pop up onto your page um any gift of a thousand dollars or below will get automatically approved but if it's a contribution of above $1,000, um, we at the foundation take a look to approve them. And we um, may ask for proof of the contribution. So like a copy of the check with personal information blacked out or something just so that if um, those offline donations are the difference, say, between you getting one of the um, giving day grants or not, we want to be able to make sure that any of these large contributions in particular are coming in are legitimate, you're actually receiving them um, so that we can be fair to everybody involved. So um, just kind of keep a note of that, that you'll have to enter them in and particularly if they're larger contributions, just make sure you have copies of checks and things on hand um, should we ask for them. All right, Sarah, now I'm done. You can talk. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no, that's all great info. So. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk next about matching grants. Um, we're going to go into way more detail on this in the next webinar, uh, including like how to secure matching grants, but I want to just kind of briefly in quotation marks because for some it might feel not brief, but I want to touch on the matching gifts and the capability here, um, just because matching gifts can really help inspire donors to participate. Um, so that is found under fundraising tools and matching grants. Um, so a matching grant is something that your organization would secure and set up on your own. Uh, this tool allows you to display a matching grant that you've worked to secure on your organization profile page. So there will be a little kind of like tiny little looking sticky little note that says that you have like one live match or two live matches, uh, which can be a good visual cue for donors to donate now because their donor money can go even further. Um, but this matching grant tool, I'm going to click create because that's what you would do. Um, it's super versatile. There's a lot of options for how you can structure your match. Most matches are probably one to one, but if uh, where if someone kind of gives you a certain dollar amount, the exact amount is matched. With our tool, you can also do other variations, two to one, three to one, or even match a percentage of each donation. 
um, the matching grant tool is going to do all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you really want to structure your match. Um, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So for instance, if there's like a power hour available, um, which is a special prize for say most individual donations, you could say that if you get like 100 donations within the hour, your organization will get an additional $1,000 or however your matching grant is set up um, to help you drive donation volume and traffic. Uh, the tool also allows you to post multiple uh, matches at the same time um, and in sequence. So if you get a bunch of grants that you want to queue for the day, you can do so one after another. Um, it may sound like a lot, like I said, but the tool itself is super user friendly. You have a ton of flexibility here and how you want to structure your match. Um, and it's really up to you. Uh, but I do also recommend that if you're feeling overwhelmed, um, keep it simple, set it up as a one to one match. It's the simplest, it's the easiest. Um, and the, I mean, the biggest thing is, you know, getting the match itself. So once you do that, you, you really have a lot of flexibility with this. Um, but like I said, yeah, so the next webinar, we're going to go into a bunch of details about how to secure, how to ask for matching grants and stuff like that. Um, so I have a couple more things to touch on. I want to show you all settings. Um, I'm going to close these little tabs. My dashboard is getting a little long. Okay, so in the settings section, uh, this is a sub menu where you can update your organization settings. So under general settings, you can customize your organization's URL. You can manage your electronic fund transfer, like Jess was saying, so you can hook up your um, bank account so that we can disperse donations directly to your account. Um, you can update any legal information needed and customize social sharing, like I said earlier. Um, so everyone who comes to your site has the same social sharing template. Um, and this is where you can kind of do all of that. You can customize the ending to your URL as well, which is a really great feature. And the last thing, I think this is the last thing on my list, um, is to show you the donation widget. So that is under fundraising tools. Um, next to the matching grants tile, there is a widget tile. So every account comes with a few donation widgets, which allow you to collect donations for Give Local NRV just right through your organization's regular website that you might have. So you or a tech person can help embed the widget through a secure iframe on your site, and it will collect donations that will get counted towards your campaign for Give Local NRV. So the widgets will reflect the custom donation levels that you've already set and built, um, as well as the descriptions you've set up. Um, so you know exactly what your donors are experiencing, whether they donate through the Give Local NRV site or through a widget on your regular website. Um, just a note, the widget doesn't include any custom checkout questions, and it doesn't include dedication. So um, they would need to go to your uh, Give Local NRV site to do that. Um, but these widgets are totally optional. It just offers, you know, one of the many perks, another way for you to collect funds for Give Local NRV, um, while also continuing to advertise for your giving events outside of your page. So, so Sarah, somebody yeah. somebody asked just what a, a widget is, and essentially this is a way of saying that this is, um, you can take your donation form, which is what Sarah is showing right now, and, and put it onto your organization's website. So it's like a tool that you can mm -hmm. use um, to put it on your website. And the reason that we really like this feature is in past giving days, if your donors are used to giving, say through your organization's website and they go there to give on the giving day, prior to working with Mighty Cause, there was no way that we could count that money towards your total. But now, if you if you want for the giving day or year round for that matter, you can put this on your website and everything connects back through Give Local NRV. So you'll see it in reports, it'll count towards your giving day, et cetera. Um, this, you don't have to do it at all. You can just use the profile on Give Local, but it's an added feature. And that, if, if you need some, some help with it, you can always, um, reach out to Mighty Cause or to us at the foundation and we can we can walk you through how the widget works. Yep, exactly, so we have three different styles. Um, you can see this one is the mini donation form, which is my favorite. Um, we also have just a simple donate button. 
Um, and then, of course, a little thumbnail that can direct people to your site. Um, and then for each of these, each one of these is going to come uh, with a code that you'll generate. And so if you're not tech savvy, find someone who is because they're going to copy this code and they will add it to your website and then um, it'll pop up with your widget. OK, so I'm going to stop my screen share and switch back to. Um, our OK, um, so I do want to mention just the really great tools that we have available for you as you're getting ready for Give Local NRV. And this is all under the MPO toolkit. Um, so when you go to the givelocalnrv.org site, you'll find a resources tab, a um, little screenshot for you to see. Uh, but this toolkit has a ton of tips, tricks, support articles, FAQs, walkthroughs, and just a ton of info to help you get inspired, help you figure out how to promote your campaign, um, help you figure out how to edit your pages. We have in-depth stuff as well as kind of starter info depending on where you are with the event. Um, this is also where you're going to find today's training, which you can rewatch, um, send to another organization who wants to participate. Uh, or, of course, I'm also going to download uh, and upload the, the slides themselves for you. Um, so you don't have to rewatch re the entire webinar. You can kind of just quickly thumb through the slides. Um, and the final note, uh, as we wrap up, I want to make sure you have all the support contact info, info for you uh, for your reference. So our Mighty Cause team is a super great resource before and during, even after the giving day for anything campaign related. Uh, if you need help setting up your EFT, if you don't really understand that, um, if you want help to strategize, figure out the timeline, or even if a donor needs a receipt resent, you can reach out to the Mighty Cause support team at any time. Um, and of course, I also want to let you know we have a full support library with just hundreds of articles. Um, and so you can always check that as well. We've linked that in the toolkit for you. Uh, and then if you have any other questions that come to mind, you can start to enter those now. But I do want to remind everyone we have our next webinar, which is Let's Talk Strategy, and it's happening on April 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, and this one is really your next level. So we'll be discussing all things strategy regarding tools in your account, um, as well as email strategy, social media strategy to really help you make the most of your giving event. And you can, you're going to want to register for that. Just go back to the givelocalnrv.org site and you can click the resources tab in the MPO toolkit. Um, but that is it for me. Um, I want to see if anyone has any questions. Uh, it was a lot of information to show you all, so you're probably going to want to refer back to it. But if you have any um, thoughts, you can let us know. Also, just if you have any wrap up info you want to share. Yeah, and I don't see any other um, questions in the chat or the Q&A, but um, I'll just underscore what Sarah said that the Mighty Cause support team is really helpful. Um, so definitely utilize them. Um, you can actually call and talk to somebody or you can email. Um, you can certainly reach out to the Community Foundation with questions as well. It's just sometimes we, not, we may not be able to answer them as quickly as Mighty Cause can, because we may well be going to Mighty Cause and saying, hey, this is what we heard from this nonprofit. So um, you've got some different options here. And um, while this was definitely probably a lot to take in, um, for those who um, have used Give Local before, I think they will, will share that the site is very intuitive. You get used to it very quickly. So there are a lot of different tools. You don't have to use them all, but creating your profile, and um, urging folks to give through um, your unique website. Those are really easy things to do with this platform and Mighty Cause makes it very accessible. So um, just taking some time to look through the site and playing with it um, and, and making sure that your profile page looks good is the most important thing. And then you can join us on April 20th to learn about some other tools that you can use. And then certainly, um, if you've registered, you become part of the list that gets regular email blasts from the Community Foundation 
as we get closer to the giving day and those increase in frequency the closer we get. So we'll do reminders to you about, hey, make sure that you've got these things on your giving page, or we'll provide some info and links for you to set up that matching grant thing. So you've got a lot of opportunity um, to go back to resources and be able then to get um, what you need and ask questions as you need to. Um, and there's one other question I'm seeing in the chat that um, if you developed a page in a previous year, is it available? Yes, so if you participated in Give Local NRV before, you still have to register again this year, but your profile page from the previous year is, is there and, and unchanged um, from last year. So you wanna go in and make sure that it's updated for this year, but you don't lose that profile um, from last year. You can just make updates to it if you had one before. If you're brand new, then you'll you'll build it out new just as Sarah walked through. That's a good question, yeah. Um, okay, cool. Well, thank you, everyone. I don't see any other questions. Um, of course, thank you, Jess, for attending and helping out. Um, I'm gonna post a recorded webinar in the MPO Toolkit next so you all can refer back to it. Um, and then, of course, register for our next event, our next webinar. Um, and if you need any help, you're always welcome to reach out to the Mighty Cause support team. So thank you, everyone. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Bye.